Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm showing you how to create an orange grapefruit body buttercream. This body buttercream is thick and delicious and perfect for you if you have a dry skin. What's better is that this body buttercream is emulsified, so you don't have to worry about it melting, but I do have to say it will melt easily into your skin. Guys, wanna see exactly how I make this? Well, keep watching. So guys, let's start with the ingredients. The first ingredient I'll be using is cocum butter. And then I'm going to add in some avocado oil for some extra moisture. Then I will be using an emulsifier. And the emulsifier that we're going to be using is glycerol sterate SE. So let's do a quick recap, just in case you didn't get that. So we're going to be using cocum butter, avocado oil, we'll be using glycerol sterate SE, and then we're going to need some distilled water to add into our mixture, as well as a little bit of glycerin. So guys, just as an FYI, body butters like this one that I'm going to be making can be found over on my website at beautyrove.com. I will drop a link in the description box below. Also over on the website, you can find other DIY skincare and hair care ingredients as well as recipes. So if you've been rocking with me for a while here on this channel, thanks for subscribing. If you're new, go ahead and like this video. It definitely helps the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel and and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. So let's finish making this body butter cream. So I've already measured out my cocum butter and for this formula, we're going to be using 81 grams of cocum butter. Cocum butter is very rich and thick and it is an excellent butter to use for skincare creams. Next, we're going to add in some avocado oil. I'm using 57 grams of avocado oil. This is going to add an extra layer of moisture to our body butter cream. Then we're going to use 14 grams of an emulsifier and this emulsifier is called glycerol sterate SE. Now I'm measuring out my distilled water. I'm using 60 grams of distilled water and then I'm going to go ahead and measure out my glycerin, which is nine grams. So the glycerin is a humectant and it's going to help attract moisture to the skin. So we essentially have two phases here. We have our water phase, which includes our distilled water in our glycerin. And then we have our oil phase, which includes our cocoa butter, our avocado oil, as well as our emulsifier. Now let's go ahead and combine our cocum butter with our emulsifier. So the emulsifier is going to help bind all of our ingredients together, meaning our oils and our water and any additional ingredients that we decide to add, which of course we will be doing a little later. So keep watching till the end of this video. Now let's go ahead and add in our avocado oil to the cocum butter. So now I'm going to take my glycerin and combine it with my water. So as you probably noticed, we're actually using more oils and butters than we are water. And that's because this body butter cream is going to be just that, a body butter cream. So I wanted the body butter to be creamy, rich and thick, and I want it to last all day. So even though the final result won't be greasy, it will definitely be moisturizing and actually not like a lotion. I'm just continuing to stir up my glycerin and my water to make sure that they're mixed really well. So you may have noticed that there was a cloudy appearance when I first combined the two ingredients together, but as you continue to stir, that will disappear and the mixture will become clear again. So now it's time to heat up our mixtures. So I'm just placing my butters and my oils into a water bath, as well as my water and my glycerin. And I'm just going to let these heat up for about 20 minutes or so. So it does depend on the type of butter that you're using. This actually could take longer than 20 minutes, but on average, it's about 20 minutes to let everything melt and get to about the same temperature. I also have my heat setting on the lowest setting. So once your butters and oils are melted, it's time to move on to the next step.
So I'm just going to transfer my oil to a different bowl and now I'm going to go ahead and start to add in my water into my oil and give it a quick stir as I'm pouring the water into the oil mixture so that my ingredients can start to bind together. So the emulsifier that's holding our ingredients together again is called glycerol sterate SE. The SE stands for self emulsifying. It contains a combination of glycerin and stearic acid and it helps to lubricate the skin making the skin feel soft and giving it a very smooth appearance. It also helps to lock in moisture which of course prevents moisture loss and if you have dry skin then retaining moisture is key to preventing dull looking tired skin. So now you can see that I'm no longer using my whisk. I've moved on to my immersion blender and this is going to help further emulsify the body butter cream. So I alternate between just letting my body butter cool down and thicken up and then mixing again with my immersion blender. So I like to do it this way just so I can break up any big clumps that form as my product is cooling down. I like to do this every 10 minutes or so meaning I let my product cool down and then after about 10 minutes I use the immersion blender again until my body butter cream is the consistency that I want. So let's move on to the next step. So now I'm just going to go ahead and measure out a preservative. I'm using two grams of Germol Plus. So instead of adding my preservative directly into my mixture, I'm actually going to give my mixture a stir and then take some of my mixture and add it into my preservative beaker. And then I'll mix it up. And once my preservative is combined really well with the body butter that I added into the beaker, then I'll transfer it back into my large bowl and stir it up and that way I just make sure that my preservative is not going to destabilize the entire bowl of body butter cream that I've created. As that would be the worst thing to have created a beautiful bowl of body butter cream and then add in a preservative that completely makes your body butter cream break apart or do something funky or weird. We definitely don't want that. So let's move on to our next ingredient, which is vitamin E. So vitamin E is our antioxidant, which is supposed to help protect the skin from environmental damage and keep our skin looking firm and youthful. So now I'm just going to combine my vitamin E into my body butter cream and then give it a stir to make sure that it's mixed in really well. Now for the fun part, I'm going to add in my scent and you can add in a scented fragrance or you can add in essential oil. It's completely up to you, but I'm actually going to be using a fruity grapefruit scent that I love. So now I'm going to add in a bright, vibrant color. I'm using orange mica to go with my grapefruit theme. Also, since the body of the grapefruit is orange. So I started by adding in one gram of mica. You can certainly add in more if you want a more intense color. The more you add, the deeper the color will be. Just don't go overboard, okay? Also, be sure to stir your mica in really, really well so that all of the color disperses into your body butter cream. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my body butter cream to my jar, and this is a six ounce jar. So the amount of body butter cream that I actually made is eight ounces. So you can either use an eight ounce jar or just do like I'm going to do and use a six ounce jar and a two ounce jar. Honestly, do whatever works for you and use whatever jar you have on hand. So 
So I waited 24 hours to see if the consistency would change and it did not. And after 24 hours, it was the same thick, rich consistency that's soft and creamy and melted easily into my skin. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Products that I use can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to share this video, like, comment, subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other DIY skincare and hair care videos that I have here on the channel. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.